My name is Louis Gentile. I'm the product specialist for the ACT. In this video, I'll introduce the ACT. We'll go through its operation. We'll go through the resulting data and the value it brings to your mill operations. The Absorption Characteristic Tester, or ACT, a sized or coated specimen is placed on a porous glass disc, 100 square centimeter, from which the specimen draws water and the uptake of water is continuously monitored to produce a dynamic absorption curve automatically. We have two chambers. We have a chamber with an LVDT or sensor assembly and the other chamber where the actual water is transmitted into the porous glass disc and then obviously into the paper specimen. The paper specimen is held by a rubber membrane. Manual cob, on the other hand, is a standard. That's what people are using and that's what they've been using for 50 years. It's a test that everyone does that they would like to replace, mainly because it's less accurate, it's not as repeatable, and there's a lot more variability in the, in the test result because of operator to, to operator dependency. There are three main reasons why the ACT brings value to your mill operations. Number one is the possibility of lowering your sizing costs by adjusting the sizing amounts. The second reason is time savings. Once you place the sample, the specimen, and the ACT, you leave it. After the two minutes, it's recorded, it's in history, and you can break back the history whenever you want. The third reason, the ACT is fully automated, which results in an accurate, more repeatable, and much less variability in the final result. In addition to what we're looking at here as we did in the 30-minute cob, if you look at the peak absorption, they're pretty similar. There's only one that's, that's basically off, and that's this one here, which is the one noted on the, on the screen. And something that we can also do is in your fixed tags, we can tag different times um, as the mill would like. And we can change these, we can add, say we want to add uh, 30 seconds, what happens at 30 seconds. So we'll just add one at 30 seconds, this is very easy. And as I said earlier, the more important portion of this curve is in the area where it first uh, enters the water enters the paper. The initial absorption of water into your paper. That's what we're trying to uh, achieve here. Um, we do want to see the cob value, but we also want to see, more importantly, how the uh, chemicals react to the paper. In other words, this one here is absorbing a lot less than this one, as an example. So we're looking at this initially, and then we're looking at the curves, difference in curves, which is difference in chemical addition. This is an example of a 30-minute cob done on a liner, top and bottom, where this absorption rate over time is the bottom, and this one here is the top. So as you can see, there's sizing differences in, you know, from the top and the bottom. More importantly is what's going on here initially, which is the peak. And the peak value or the peak number is the initial uptake of water when the water first enters the sheet. The higher the number, the quicker rate of absorption. Most mills that I've discussed the ACT with, they would like more. Why? Because they're tired of doing manual cobs. And even if they do manual cobs, they don't complete manual cobs, no matter whether it's two minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. So if you're interested, which you probably are, what we recommend is for you to send us some samples. We will run them, collect the data, review the data with you, and then go forward from there. Mm -hmm.